Richard Armitage. Sir Richard Armitage. Konnichiwa. Um, <laughs> I, was ba I was here in uh, Tokyo back in 2000, and I'm so proud to come back in 2012 with these amazing people, with this film, uh, which I think will really appeal to a Japanese audience. It has so many big themes that honor loyalty, and uh, uh, it's just something huge for me but I think it will be um, very well received here and I'm, I'm really proud to, to bring it to you. Arigato. Mm -hmm. Having been a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings book and absorbing myself in the trilogy, uh, one thing that you realize is that Peter's work is very, very unlikely to ever be remade in the future. And so when you're given the responsibility of taking on a role like Thorin Oakenshield, and I'm, I'm sure Martin felt the same, um, you, you understand that it, I would probably be the only person that ever plays this. And so to own that responsibility and come to New Zealand with all of those fears and excitement to do that uh, was, will probably be the most memorable thing about the whole event. Um, and it was probably the best year of my life and the best 18 months I ever spent working on any piece of work, regardless of the end product. The experience of, of sharing that with Peter and his team in New Zealand will be there in my heart forever. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I always felt incredibly guilty that I, I didn't really socialize enough when we were working on this job, particularly with Martin, because he is one of the most entertaining people I've ever worked with. But I have to explain to you that um, the prosthetic is removed with alcohol, so if you consume too much alcohol the night before, the face falls off about halfway through the day, so, and you feel really rubbish all day, so I apologize for not coming out for a beer more often. Um, but in terms of what I gained from Martin as an actor, there, were, there was one particular day, and it was in Bag End, um, because, and we, it was my first day on the set, and Martin had been working with Andy for, I think, two weeks on the, on the Gollum scene, and, um, they were doing something which is called a rolling reset, and I watched Martin experimenting with a moment as a, as a jazz musician would riff on a theme. And I remember being so impressed with it, that because it's actually quite a brave thing to do, because you sort of expose your process to everyone in the room. And I, I remember going away, and he'd sort of set the benchmark for me in the way that I would like to work for the rest of the film. Um, and that set everything in motion, and I have such admiration for, for what he did on this film, and I think that character is going to live in children's hearts for a long time. Can you stand closer to each, to each other, please? Can you gather together? <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. And we're going to start with the cameras in front of you, right ahead could look right ahead, please. <laughs> appreciated um, waving <laughs> any kind of movement <laughs> Jackson, Mr. Marion Freeman Mr. Andy Sarkis Mr. Richard Armitage Mr. Elijah Wood thank you very very much arigatougozaimashita Hobbit, Omoyaka, and I go can dine his Jacaikan 